let's determine the configuration of this stereo center. Now, I'm not sure if this is legible on the video, but this up here is supposed to be a D. This is not supposed to be an O. Uh, for some reason, I'm having trouble writing the legible D. But this is supposed to be a D. Uh, I hope you know what D is, but uh, if you don't, um, I'll tell you. D is deuterium. Okay, um, so try assigning um, R and S here. Well, why don't we actually go through this together? Because we haven't talked about this issue yet. Um, so this is the first time that we've dealt with deuterium. Uh, what is deuterium? Well, deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen. So let's think about hydrogen for a second. We know that a hydrogen nucleus has one proton. That's what makes it hydrogen and no neutrons. So its atomic weight is one. One atomic mass unit is its atomic weight. Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen, so it must also have one um, proton. Isotopes always have the same atomic number. They always have the same number of protons. So this is a D for deuterium. It must have one proton, but it must have a different number of neutrons. It turns out that deuterium has one neutron, whereas hydrogen has zero neutrons. So what's the atomic weight of deuterium? Well, remember that each proton has a weight of one, and each neutron has a weight of one. So if you put them together, the total weight is two atomic mass units, two atomic mass units for this weight. By the way, this is why this is called deuterium. Um, because dut or doit is uh, Greek or maybe Latin for two. Uh, you've probably heard of deuces. Um, those are the twos in a deck of cards. Um, so uh, this D-E-U here um, is some ancient language for two. Well, this is called two. Um, this has the, the root for two in it because it has atomic weight of two, whereas the regular isotope of hydrogen has an atomic weight of one. Now, going back to here, it's clear that the iodine gets the number one priority. Well, actually, maybe it's not clear yet. So, where does deuterium come in priority-wise? How can we determine the priority for deuterium? Well, so far we've been saying that you're just supposed to say the higher atomic number is the higher priority. Well, that, that's right. Higher atomic number is the higher priority. So, iodine does get the number one priority, and chlorine gets the number two priority. Both of these obviously have much higher atomic numbers than deuterium, because the atomic number for deuterium is just one, the same as for hydrogen. Remember, the atomic number is how many protons you have, so these both have an atomic number of one. Um, but what do you do when you're tied on the atomic numbers? If you're tied on the atomic numbers, then you can break the tie by looking at your overall atomic weight. If the atomic numbers are tied, you break the tie by looking at the atomic weight. Well, clearly deuterium has a higher atomic weight than hydrogen. So deuterium has a higher priority than hydrogen. Deuterium has a higher priority than hydrogen because they're tied in the number of protons, um, but then you break the tie by looking at the atomic weight. And this has an atomic weight of two, or hydrogen only has an atomic weight of one. Okay, so now we've learned how to determine priorities when you're dealing with deuterium, an isotope of hydrogen. Um, deuterium has a higher priority than hydrogen, but a lower priority than everything else. Deuterium has a higher priority than hydrogen, but a lower priority than everybody else. That's a consequence of the general rule um, you always try to um, determine priorities by looking at the atomic numbers. But if the atomic numbers are tied, you break the tie by looking at the atomic weights. Well, deuterium has a higher atomic weight than hydrogen. But deuterium is going to have a lower priority than anything besides hydrogen because deuterium has a lower atomic number than everything besides hydrogen. Deuterium has an atomic number of one, and everything else has a higher atomic number. Okay, uh, well, let's see. Now um, we're in case two. The number four priority is on the horizontal line pointing towards us, so we need to make a swap so that it's pointing away from us. And now one to two to three are arranged clockwise, or R, but since we made a swap, the true configuration is S. So the configuration at this stereo center is S. Uh, now, once again, what I'm trying to draw here is a D. I hope that you can see that this is a D for deuterium. 
try to determine whether this is R or S. Here's the stereo center. It's always a good idea to put in any hidden hydrogens. Here's the hidden hydrogen. Um, so assigning the priorities. Well, deuterium and hydrogen are definitely both inferior in atomic number to these two carbons. So these are going to be the three and the four. But who gets the three and who gets the four? Well, as we just learned, deuterium has a higher atomic weight than hydrogen. So deuterium gets a higher priority than hydrogen. You can see that the right-hand carbon gets the top priority, and the left-hand carbon gets a lower priority. Now the number four priority is pointing towards us. We need it to point away from us. So let's swap the four and the three. Now the configuration on the page is R. But since we made a swap, the true configuration is S. So the answer to the problem was S. This is an S configuration. The main purpose of this problem, again, was to review how to deal with deuterium. So you can see um, that, again, um, whoever has the higher atomic numbers gets the higher priorities, but when the atomic numbers are tied, whoever has the higher weight gets the higher priority. The deuterium had a lower atomic number than these two groups, so it was a lower priority than them. But the deuterium has the same atomic number as hydrogen. So then you look at the atomic weight. Deuterium has a higher atomic weight than hydrogen. So deuterium had the three priority and hydrogen had the four. Uh, before we made the swap in order to get the number four pointing uh, away from us. But originally we had the deuterium with the number three priority and the hydrogen 